Ooh, it's giving Laquita from the first floor. Let's sell hair and cigarettes. <laughs> These curls better be popping. I'm busy being nosy as usual. I'm always in front of my window early in the morning just trying to see what's going on. But anyway, good morning. Good morning. Another weekend, another vlog. And let me just tell y'all, I woke up in a beautiful mood this morning. I was like, yeah, like I took me a nice well, shower. Not bad. Yeah, I took me a nice shower. You know, um... I exfoliated, did my little skin routine. I was just like, then I looked in the mirror, my eyebrows was looking crazy. Yeah, so I was like, you know what, all right. I'm going to do them until I got to get a wax because without me doing this, they look crazy. So I was like, let me just do this. So it's time for me to go do my nails and I get them waxed and I'll be looking cute. But yeah, I woke up, I was feeling good. I'm like, I was like, let me get, you know, cute. I was like, all right, let me do a little soft beat, you know, throw a little foundation on, some eyebrows. And as I was pumping my foundation out of the bottle, right onto my shirt. Well, anyway, I was like, yeah, that's not going to ruin my day because like I'm feeling my outfit. So let me show y'all. So I got these leggings on, the top to match, the back is giving, the butt is giving, everything is giving. I was just like, yeah. I got this outfit from Forever 21. The material is so good. Oh, I just got my waist beads, y'all. Mm -hmm. Got them done in the mall. But anyway, the material is so good. It's kind of ribbed. Um, yeah, this makeup thing is really, really bothering me, but uh, again, it's not going to ruin my day. Like, about to go to Pilates and... I also was on TikTok the other night and um, I want to make a Chipotle bowl, like my own Chipotle bowl. And I've been watching these videos um, of people making it at home. So I wrote the recipe down. We're about to go to the store, grab some stuff. Excuse me. I'm about to do that later. What else do I have to do today? Oh, I also want to go to Home Goods, get like one of those giant candles, like maybe like a four wick type, or I mean, even if it's two wick, just like a big giant candle. I do want it to put on, oh, it's completely dark. Sorry, guys. I do want it to put on my, um, in front of my, turn the light on, on my kitchen counter. Just right here, just right here to just look cute. Um, Cause oftentimes, sometimes when I am cooking, um, when I'm cooking, why am I losing my train of thought? When I'm cooking, sometimes what I'm cooking, I don't want the smell to just be going through the house the whole day. So yeah, just light a candle, but I want something real cute. I do also have to buy Oh, battery, a battery charger for my camera. No, a battery, yeah, a battery charger for my batteries for my camera. Yeah, I gotta do that. Um, That's so boring, that's boring stuff. I do also need to get a area rug. I need to get an area rug for my living room because I mean, I've been living here for quite a while now and I'm just like, you know, that's my couch. That's my center, center table, whatever you want to call it. This is my living room, basically. Um, just a lot of black and creams, like, you know, neutral color. So I wanted to get something real big, maybe to come all the way like out here type. 
but um I've been looking and like I've always seen some smaller ones then I also am I'm indecisive on if I should get a black one like a mixed one or just a straight cream the straight cream it's I mean it's just me and D here it's, I don't really have kids or anything except when my niece comes it could hold up but I'm also scared for anything to be spilled on it or anything black um I don't know I don't know if it's too much black if I put a black area rug there because my what do you call my bar stools are black I mean maybe black could work black could definitely work so we'll look into that so yeah I need an area rug um area rug charger and the stuff for my chipotle bowl and yeah, that's it. We about to go to Pilates and turn up. Oh, and also tomorrow I'm supposed to be going to a picnic with my girlies from work. That's going to be fun. So I'll probably pick some stuff up, like, you know, little finger foods. Um, I do want to do a little board, so I maybe need to get like salami, some cheese, some pepperoni, um, of course, a nice bottle of wine, and we're just gonna chill in the park and chop it up, and yeah. Yeah, y'all. So we just left Pilates. Um, I didn't even get to finish because I had got a phone call from um, Taylor at the nail salon. I go to the receptionist. She said they got to open in today rather than tomorrow. Do I want to come in? Yeah, let's do it. So rushed upstairs, got my bag, put some sneakers on and we are headed there now. Um, I do need to get a green juice before I step in there because green juice is, is just like my energy. My kale juice from First Watch, I just ordered that online. Um, so I'm about to just run and pick that up and then run over to summer to get my nails done. All right, so just left the nail salon. Oh God, it's gonna be so hard for you to see. I I didn't wash my hands after she put the acrylic, I mean, the cuticle oil on because I don't know, I just like to keep them that way just until I take a shower. But I just got like this clear pink kind of vibe. I went back to my almond because God knows, I mean, I like the, um short square but it's just not me i'm always my nails are always like this and she did a little pink heart on one of them it's so hard to see but i love them i love them fresh set same clear pink on my toes but um now i'm stressed so i went i left the nail salon i went to the Publix right next door and i can't find that marinade for my chicken for my chicken bowl and it's about to rain and I'm not about to run around. So um, I'm about to just have something different for dinner. And hopefully next week I'll do the Chipotle bowl. <sighs> Makes me sad, but I can't right now. But then on a better note, I did get a call and um, from Saks and my sneakers came. <laughs> so I'm about to go pick them up. Um... Yeah, I've been wanting the Chanel sneakers forever. I forget the name of them, but they're so popular and they've been sold out for the longest. So I had to go to the store and order them. Let me drive while I'm talking to you. I had to go to the store and order them. And yeah, the guy just called me and told me that they came in. So I'm going to make something 
else for dinner. As I was leaving the Publix, I was thinking to myself, like, maybe I want some shrimp. And I haven't had, like, Jamaican curry shrimp with, like, rice in a minute. So I think that's what I'm going to make. I'm kind of in the mood for that. Like, I don't know. I cook a lot of Jamaican food. But, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So make some curry shrimp um, tonight. I'm going to go get my sneakers. And I'm going to run in this Ross right next to the nail salon on the side on the same side of the nail salon just to see if they have the um candles or airy rug or anything because um i'm not trying to go to home goods right now because again like i said it's gonna rain and i need to hurry up and get to Saks and get my sneakers because god knows that's real important so yeah run into ross get this candle um ooh. I'm going to try to get this candle and area rug in there. See what they got. Like, if they... I'm not even sweating it. If they don't have it, it's fine. I'll just get something else next week. Um, But, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. And then I also thought about the picnic tomorrow. And I do want to put some curls in my hair. So, I was thinking about getting, like, some rollers to do, for like, with my clippings. But I don't know, I'm scared. Cause like, I mean, I've been seeing the girlies do it on TikTok, it come out really nice. I don't know, I'ma just try it. So I'ma pick me up some rollers at a Target, get me some shrimp, go get my sneakers and head home. All right, I'm at Ross, I'm about to go get some, look for my stuff. All right, y'all, well, as you can see, I went into Ross. I did not buy the area rug. I did buy some lotion and some other stuff I will show you when I get home, but yeah. So right now I'm about to um, head to go pick up my sneakers, some shrimp and some rollers for my hair. I have, no, I have, what do you call those? the flexi rods. I don't have rollers. I think I really want rollers. So yeah, I'm gonna go get my shoes, shrimp, and then get some rollers and head home. See y'all in a bit. Sorry y'all, my camera died on me, but anyway. I got this cute little pumpkin. Yeah, and it was seven, six dollars. It's so cute. Yeah, I love the color and everything. I wanted them to have a bigger one where I could put them side by side, but I'll go back and check. I only seen these. I seen it in orange and like a um like a soft pink, but this matches everything. And you know, I love neutral anything. Then I don't know why I just went fall crazy. I bought Oh gosh, I bought this for my door. It's so cute. Look at the colors. And it was only $12. I can hang it just like this on my door. But the thing is, it says Happy Thanksgiving, so I'm probably beasting. I'm not gonna hang it up now because we're still in September, so. Maybe when October rolls around, but it's so cute. I really wanna hang it. Then I also bought this. It says, hello, fall, and you just lean it against your front door. So cute. Again, like light colors. I think it would look cute with this on the door. I don't know. I just like to decorate. I like stuff like this. All right. I also bought my shrimp. Um, I'm going to make that a little later on. Right now, I need to shower. I'm going to try to get these rollers in my hair so that my curls could be popping for tomorrow. Um... But again, I just don't know how to do this. Like, I guess I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. All right, y'all. Fresh up out the shower. About to attempt to do these roller thingies. All right, see so you in the swim portion of hair. 
All right, the directions are pretty simple, straight to the point, so I probably shouldn't be too lost. All right, let's get out a curling iron, comb, brush, several bones, and let's see. Oh Lord, wish me luck. I don't want tomorrow. I'm looking crazy like. <laughs> uh, all right, turn this on. So I'm gonna curl it, then I'm gonna put the, so I'm gonna put the roller on. All right, give you go. All right. <clears throat> oh, y'all. So I've been watching, well, my little sister came home from school. She put me onto the show Love Island, UK. Uh, ouch, I've been glued to the TV. So it's early in the season. I think I'm on like episode four. First of all, Ella, calm down because Tyreek is not your man. Um, Mitch, calm down, cause Molly's not your woman. Like these people be they, they just met. Like I would say less than a what two three weeks, and they already coupling up as if like you know. And the show is supposed to be fun. You're supposed to get to know everybody, and but yeah, that's happening. And then the part where everybody's just kissing everybody is really like. So everything they're like, what do they call it? Smog or smug? Smog the the person you're most attracted to and stuff like that. I'm just like, and now at this point, y'all just kissing for no reason. Like, yeah. But I must say the show is very entertaining. It's cool. I'm liking it. Um, is it on my trash TV list? I wouldn't say it's trashy. It's just just entertainment. Um, y'all, y'all seen Krishan had the baby? So I was looking at that and she named him Krishan, which isn't a bad thing. I love that for her. I love it. And Blueface is just over there. Oh, he's texting me. Blueface is just over there all into the baby mama, the original baby mama. One thing, ladies, I mean, from past experience, Past experiences, I have learned that the baby mama, I mean, I can't say she will never go away, but in most cases, if she doesn't go away, it's gonna be some sort of drama, some type of, I don't know, I'm just speaking from, from my experiences, my past experiences, because I told myself when I got out of all those relationships, I was just like, all right, Sam, like never don't do that ever again. Cause like, it just doesn't make any sense. Hold on, let me see. Cause I don't want them tight. I just want something like at the end, like a big curl at the end. Let's leave that for now. I'll figure out the rest. But yeah, baby mama drama, anytime you're dating a man that has kids, like just, I won't say be prepared for the drama, but just know that that BM or whatever you want to call it will always be a part of his life, like no matter what. And these, these men, I don't know, most of them, once a woman have a baby for them, they just feel like they're entitled to them all the time. So it's like, where do you stand? You know what I'm saying? Well, again, off my personal experiences. Um, then you have those relationships where, you know, baby mommy and baby daddy is very cordial and, you know, the co-parenting is going well and this is your stepmommy and the step mommy knows the baby mommy and everybody's getting along well. And I mean, yeah, you have those situations, like, you know, not saying all situations are bad situations, but again, from my past situations, it just never went well, never went well. But it looked like on a whole, she's getting, 
she pretty much is like getting herself together and you know she's always had her little you know her songs and she's had her fame so yeah i love that for her i think i honestly think this baby is going to change her a lot as a woman come on like yeah just stop it's like when you're busy that's when all the text messages just want to roll in all right y'all i don't know what i'm doing but they better just hold on for their life because i'm about to um cook dinner like this and possibly go to sleep i don't know how i'm gonna sleep don't know but yeah y'all so yeah i love that for her and it seems like she has i don't know i can't say supportive a supportive family because from what i was watching on the show oh my god they was about to beat each other like ugh. but i think it's just all the drinking but mom's in her life and dad and they seem like very spiritual people i don't know but i think she got a bit of some support there but yeah, baby mama drama is something you just never want to be around. Like, when I tell you, I've been in situations where, like, I have been, like, in my bed sleeping, like, by myself. Like, and baby mama's is just, not even baby mama's, baby mama is calling me. So, there was this one situation, right? Let's get into it. This one situation, I was dating this guy, right? And... He would just, he just couldn't stop cheating. Like, whether it was baby mama, his ex, his ex ex, his, I don't know. Like, something was definitely just wrong. Like, he just couldn't stop cheating. Like, he just loved females. I get it, whatever. So anyway, before I found all of that out, I knew he had a baby mother, all right? You know, they tell you the situation, oh, we broke up before the baby was born, blah, 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 blah. whatever. But again, me, I believe that. So he had BM and he was like literally back and forth between me and her. Like when I tell you it was on some like, it was so frequent, like it was just like, Samantha, wake up. Like, this man is never going to stop messing with that girl. So, one day I was just like, after this, like, I'm not messing with you no more. And I'm concerned about my health, everything. Like, deuces. Stop talking to him. Um, stop talking to him for, like, it was probably a good two months. I'm in my bed and I'm sleeping. And no, I'm watching something about to fall asleep and my phone rings like 2 a.m. So I answer the phone and I'm like, hello. And all I hear is like, we outside your door. We about to beat you up, blah, 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 blah. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so I'm like, what? I sit up and I'm like, who is this? They like, you know who this is. We outside your house. This, 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 and that. I'm looking for blah, blah, blah. Where he at? So I'm like, oh, man. Like him? Oh, we stopped talking. It's complete silence. I said, I've been stopped talking to him. She's like, what? You lying ass, this, this, and that. And she just won't shut up. She just kept going and going and going. I said, listen here, sweetie. He's still cheating. Yeah, just not with me. He's still cheating on you. Just not with me. And I hung up the phone. And it's like, I'm just thinking about it like, you're going to chase this man forever. Like, because if it's not me, it's going to be somebody else. So now that I stopped talking to him, you done run me out the picture because, you know, this is your baby daddy. And you ran me out the picture. So it's like another girl is going to come in the picture and you're just going to run her out the picture as well. And it's just going to be an ongoing thing. It's like, when does it stop? But I mean, 
me i don't have the time nor energy for it so better you than me me um the first time i'm just like all right done i'm not done don't care like kids nothing and then i get it a lot of people are like you know oops we have to stay together for the kids i can't say that i know what that is but like at the end of the day as a woman like if you're not good to me like i have to take care of my kids i need to be okay for my kids and if you're stressing me out it's just going like it's it's not a good situation i my happiness comes first at the end of the day my happiness is my kids and if you're not making me happy then yeah i'm gonna just have to do it on my own i'm gonna just have to do it on my own but yeah it's like you're just staying with a piece of trash just to say like just because you're like oh i have his kids or his kid or whatever the case is and it's just like you as a woman you're not thinking about like yourself yeah you're thinking about i don't even know at this point are you even thinking about the kid or is it just because you don't want to be a baby mama that's why you run after this person so much you get what i'm saying but yeah i've always like thought about those situations and stuff and i've always just told myself like you know i just never really want kids until like i'm married or i know the situation is you know serious enough so y'all all right this one is a little bit more higher i'm gonna change this yeah but as i was saying oh this one i need to change it as i was saying like baby mama drama like miss me with that because like oh okay i am not the one I'm, not, I'm just not here for it i'm just not and then at the time too i was thinking to myself like dang you're so young sam like you really about to if you plan on pl on staying with this person for x amount of time you really about to go through this the whole rest of your life no ma'am Ooh, it's giving Laquita from the first floor that sell hair and cigarettes. <laughs> These curls better be popping. That's all I'm saying. Cause yeah. And in situations like this too, I'd be just thinking like, dang, Pixie Sammy. Cause my Pixies was so easy. But then it's like, do I go back to paying $200 every two weeks because your hair is growing like every second, every time you breathe? No. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, so I say that, say that like, be your mom John, no thank you. And then I'm thinking about it like, so as I'm watching the show, they said that um, they did the whole fraternity test and um, he is the dad and all of that. And now that he's back with the original baby mama, it's like he wants nothing to do with the new baby, Krishan baby. So it's like, how is that gonna work? Are you just gonna, like, how could you do that as a man? Like you have two kids and you brought a third one into this world. And now because you don't mess with the mother, you're just like, yeah, I can't mess with you either kid. Although you're my blood and everything, I can't. Like, that's just crazy to me. I don't understand it. You just mess with the one that you're with. Like, that's... Mm -mm. No, ma'am. And then it's like, sometimes those be the golden child. Like, that be the child that grew up to be the lawyer, the doctor, the, the one you depend on. You just... I don't know. It's just not okay. All right, so this is coming out. It's... It's just given, yeah. But I don't know, if my curls is popping, I'll be so happy. And then tomorrow I have the picnic, but I don't even know if I could vlog, guys, because like, when I be with my girls, like, it really just be too much tea spilling, so. I don't know, I may vlog, I may not. Y'all may just get Sunday with Sammy because yeah i can't wait to make my curry shrimp y'all like my mouth is watering 
cannot wait is this too much hair i don't know if i'm doing this right please let me know like jump in my comments give me some tips because this roller set thing i don't know i don't know like i'm doing some i'm just going off of what i've seen on tiktok i don't know if they're supposed to be at the root but as i said i'm not a shirley temple girl so i just want some like baggy curls per se yeah Ooh, all right y'all i am done with my rollers and guess what this is exactly how i'm gonna cook dinner i know when my husband comes home he gonna be like girl what is good with you but when my curls is popping you don't want to be on my body <laughs> So yeah, we about to cook some dinner and we about to just watch some episodes of Love Island and call it a day because I'm not going back outside. And um, I'm a, oh, I'm gonna prep some stuff for the, um, for the picnic tomorrow. So when I went to the store, the grapes wasn't graping. Like they was just looking, I don't know, usually like Publix, has some really good fruit but today it was just not so i was just like you know what i'm just not gonna go that route I, and then i said i was gonna do the board the cheese board some of the cheeses i couldn't find like today was just not a day i mean i did get my sneakers and i got something cute from zara but today was just not a day because i couldn't find my marinade for my chipotle chicken and i couldn't find half the stuff for my board so um yeah the cheeses that i like one of them is like a five pepper jack cheese my friend put me on to they were out of that and um what else were they out of they had salami and stuff but it's like how are you going to do the board without the cheese so i was just like F it. so i'm gonna make some buffalo chicken dip um of course i'm gonna bring some wine and I'm gonna just go off of like any other snack I could think of. So, yep. Oh, let me go show y'all what I got from, oh, let me show y'all what I got from Zara and my sneakers. All right, y'all. So today when I went to go um, pick up my shoes, I stopped by Zara, don't know why. But I don't know, I always just peek in. Oh, excuse me. I always just peek in. And I just got these little basic um, crops. They're so nice. Like they have like that, what is, what is it? Not nylon, but stretchy and yeah, it's so soft. Like, yeah, that type of material. I got it in this cute little sage color and um, a black one, of course, can't go with black. Can't go wrong with black. So those, and they were like $12. Um, they have white, but they didn't have my size. What's so now? I needed a uh, ebony teakwood. So my little sister again put me on to this ebony teakwood from Zara. I mean, why keep saying teakwood? Teakwood is from the candle. Ebony wood. Ebony wood is the name of the fragrance. And yeah, this is it, y'all. When I tell you, it smells like. I feel like I could smell it all day. It smells so good. So good. And um, yeah, 40 bucks. So I feel like I'm gonna be wearing this for a little bit. Um, I also got these shoes. I already cut the little thingy off because I have to try them on. How cute. A little denim heel. I mean, the heel, I showed them to my husband and he was like, um, the heel is a little short. <laughs> like, he loves like high six inch heels. He loves when I wear those type of shoes. I mean, it's a, I don't wanna say it's a kitten. It's a little cat. I ain't giving kitten. <laughs> it's a cat. But I just thought they were so cute. Oh, and let me show you this bag. It's just one of those. Everywhere I go, people are like, oh my God, your bag is cute. 
I made this bag when I was 19 years old out of some old jeans that I used to wear and I cut it, stitched it up on the bottom and just made a little denim look. I don't know, I mean, no, may not. <laughs> but I just thought of denim, yeah, that. But yeah, these are like super duper cute. Love them, love them, love them. So I just felt like I couldn't walk away and they were 50 bucks. Why not? Now, the bees, I had to go pick up a bunch of my Chanel's, Chanel's. Yes, I wanted this sneaker forever. They look a little big. They probably, they're probably big. But yeah, I wanted these forever. Hold on, my light is blinding me. Yeah, I wanted these forever and finally got them. So, and I'm glad I got them the time I got them because now um, the fall is coming and yeah, I could definitely wear these. I got them in, uh, I think it was a 40. Yeah, I got the gold ones. Y'all like that? Yeah, I just need to figure out like, Y'all, I haven't worn sneakers in so long. Um, I mean, sneakers are not hard to really, you know, probably get like a cute sweatsuit or something to rock and sweat or, cause I don't wear jeans like at all, at all. Yeah, but these are the side things I just like bought today for no reason because I just felt like I, I don't know, I need to, when I go to the mall, I need to just, stop going into stores because it, it turns into let me see what they got and then you actually buy what they got like let me see what they got means go see and leave but i actually go see and buy i think i'm gonna just start leaving but then you got apple pay i don't know like i need to do some type of y'all the the spending I, it's yeah <laughs> but all right that's that that's what i got let's go make dinner and yeah <laughs>